Hello everyone, my name is Kajori Kudu and welcome back to Let's Play Path to Nowhere. How's everyone? <laughs> it's been a while since the last time I'm making a video and I feel like really really awkward. Feels like I forgot how to make a commentary. Well, I, I don't even know how to make a commentary, but I don't I don't feel this awkward. But at the same time, I'm feeling very excited because well, we are near the first anniversary of Path to Nowhere, which is I think is going to be like in the next two weeks, right? So um, in regard of that. They just released actually the, the first part of the event So it's gonna be like a really long event it, A two part story I, I think this is the fair, the first one Ever Right So I'm so looking forward like what's the story gonna be If they is going to make like a story that long Right So Let's discuss with the new character <laughs> they, they released the first two I mean like I think they, they're releasing like five car new character for this uh, anniversary and there is the first two right okay uh, by you thank you thank you very much for your comment <laughs> right so the first one uh, the first two that they release is Rahu and Garofano top tier design as usual Rahu is just looking so badass um, I don't I don't know what she is she's like like I don't know wearing this Japanese like kind of like Eastern mask uh her outfit also like to my liking is kind of formal and i think she's using like a shield with a blade super badass basically and the other one of course it's not going to be part of nowhere if they don't release a mummy <laughs> and for this event they, they release garofano to fill that spot She's an A-rank though, like, uh, I don't I, I, love, I love her design, and to be honest, I probably prefer her design more than Rahu. Wow, wow. <laughs> Unpopular opinion, probably. <laughs> now, when it comes to, again, when it comes to, like, their viability, I don't know, I don't do research or anything as usual. And, you know, that's the, the that's why the title of this video, as always, is a freaking let's play. Because, at the same time, that's when I got, I'm going to try to get to know them like how are they gonna do so this is the event I'm, I'm gonna try to be careful not to press anything in this uh, screen because on some event they are just like when you press that that start button they immediately start the the I know the prologue of the story or whatever and I'm gonna do that on the separate video this time you just wanted to like explore what they have something in you uh, something new uh, oh right so they have this free skin so you don't make sure you get this finish everything and then I think all you need to do is just you know, like spend your stamina as so, uh, remember this is you get for free so make sure you don't miss out and it will finish in like 17th of October yeah and of course this is the the main thing all right the suspect pursuit or the trial that we're gonna do so let's take a look at what is Rahu deal okay so I know that she's an Endura um, okay so what's her kids actually so she can block to enemies of all of she she's like an Endura so yeah when Rahu HP is above 30% she gets a 10% increase in physical damage when it's below 30% she gets a third uh, she gains a 10% damage reduction okay pretty straightforward I think she's more of a DPS tank kinda which is awesome Rahu immediately triggers counter blow once when her weapon form switches to guardian blade ah okay so this is gonna be like one of the sinner that actually uh, have to form maybe like Luvia Ray or something like that okay now oh, what is this oh this is pretty long auto okay this might be something in here uh, Rahu can active Eclipse Shadow I'm guessing that's probably the ultimate to switch the current weapon form using the arm guard for attack inflict attack okay basically doing 80% damage or physical damage when she's on the guardian blade just call it like blade form the attack radius extend to a 3 times 3 whoa wow 
Wow, that's actually amazing. Like all the tanks just have like one grid, you know, they just have like one grid. Uh, the frequency of attack slightly increase and deal more damage, of course. Well, if that's the case, then isn't it better to just, you know, stay on the blade form all the time? Why would you do? Why would you stay on the arm guard then? All right, so this is the ultimate. Activate the ultimate to swap between. Okay, sure. Step forward. Arm guard, Rahu normal attack, heal. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah. Of course, tank stand, so this is gonna benefit to for survivability. When wielding the Guardian Blade, Rahu gains 30% attack boost, but reduces her defense by oh no, by 20% and drains 5% of her max HP. Oh no! <laughs> I I did not expect that. I did not expect that. I th I thought I thought it's gonna be just as simple as like okay, if you're on the on on the tank stance basically quotation mark you're gonna get like more defense or gonna get heal whatever and then on dps stance you're gonna get more attack and then you just switch it accordingly but drain though it's gonna make her use kind of oh no i mean like the duration of you can be on dps stand is very very limited i mean five percent of her max hp is per second yes yeah? so basically that's only you can survive like 20 20 second on on a DPS stance basically. That's that even haven't count when you still taking hit from from the boss or from the enemy. <laughs> that's ah damn. I don't know even Hamal probably gonna hold this. It's, it's very dangerous. <laughs> it sounds very dangerous. Firstly, <laughs> right next one. Uh, every time Rahu takes damage, he gets a stack of battle will. Stacking up to five times per second at most. Okay, in Guardian Blade mode, her normal attacks at another battle wheel. Okay, stuck upon landing a hit after stacking twelve battle wheel. I thought you said it's five times. Oh, up to five times per second. Oh, that means you can like within like three seconds you can have maybe like twelve battle wheel. How do you even get five times? I don't get it. Oh, every time she takes damage. Hmm. So if you if she can like uh, block two, so it's not like two every time. Well, anyway, Rahu unleashes counter blow, dealing damage to a nearby enemy, and can stack up to three times. So you can save like twelve battle wheel or something. I think that like activate automatically. I, I don't quite get it, but oh, anyway, let's continue. I think it's been so long already. Uh, enemy hit by counter blow takes 12% more physical damage. Okay, so this is basically the party utility, which is good. Because otherwise, I don't see her so far, like how she can replace Awu. So, Shackle. Shackle reduces the stack of battle wheel to two, uh, by 2, so you need only 10. Uh, you got physical damage increase. Rahu recover 10% of her max HP when counter bow and get energy and physical damage. Okay, fine. Oh, this art is beautiful. I cannot check it. God damn it, I cannot check it. So, in Guardian Blade mode, Rahu normal attack at another battle wheel. Stuck upon landing a hit. New exclusive ultimate unyielding. Boost attack by 10% and keeps her HP above 35% of her max HP. Oh, so basically she become like immune for when you use this, you basically like kind of immune for from damage for like 10 seconds, and you just stay for like 30. Uh, your HP gonna stay on 35 percent. All right. Sorry, I think it was taking too long reading because honestly, I don't still kind of get it. <laughs> yeah, well, right. So I know. You want me to be on Guardian Blade all the time, aren't you? I can you, eradicate Hamel? any threats. Right, okay, Guardian Blade, let's go. Uh, this one. Oh my god, that... She's like a Gundam, mate. What the hell? Oh, yeah, all right. That she, she, she got like three times three. Oh, let's press it two times two because it's too slow. Oh my god, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay. Wait, did she just like sweep or something? 
She's sweep, right? Let the dance begin. I'm not even doing anything, mate. Like seriously, I'm not even doing anything. I'll take everything back what what I said just now. I think this is super OP. We can't linger. It's not safe here. Nice voice though. I'll take anything, everything I have. <laughs> she definitely, she definitely can can be uh, very useful, right? So, I, seriously, seriously <laughs> I can, I still can't move on. Like, did, what did I just do just now? I'm not even doing anything. I just changed her to like uh, blade form, and then it just do her thing. <laughs> well, let's go to the next scene. Or is Garofano the mummy in the banner? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, a sinner adept at breaking cores deal core uh, deals core damage when casting an ultimate. Okay. Oh, she's an Umbra. I thought she's a caster or arcane. Right. Deal twenty percent more damage to enemy marked with weak spot. Hmm. What is weak spot? Okay, it's pretty short. I think there's nothing special in the. Uh, normal attack so this is the ultimate Garofano throw a pinpoint needle at an enemy within a single grid okay so only one grid dealing damage and one core damage okay and we charge up to two times well as expected of an umbra I guess nothing complicated so far increase attack okay pinpoint pinpoint is the ultimate marks enemy weak spot okay this is how you get the weak spot effective for the battle's duration Wait, so, so you mean it's like the rest of the battle? Right? Weak spot, prioritize as the attack target superseding the tone effect. Wait a minute. So you're saying, oh no. So you are saying that if we use ultimate, for example, on the boss, then she will only attack the boss from that on. You know, as long as the weak spot doesn't hit anyone else, so she's just gonna focus on the boss? Is that what you mean? Okay, uh, fourth skill. When an enemy is marked with weak spot, Garofano deal attack physical damage every second for six seconds. Is she like an additional damage every time after ultimate? I think it's pretty straightforward, so yeah. Uh, shackles, attack plus 5%. Piercing erosion. Duration is extended by two seconds. What is piercing erosion? Oh, the like, you know, the thing after the ultimate. Okay. Attack plus 5%, energy, and attack plus percent. Nothing special. Exclusive. Oh, are we are we already at that point where <laughs> where all the exclusive skill description is very long? Okay, use exclusive ultimate, heart lemon, remove all weak spot mark in range and deal physical damage to those target. They take 8% more damage for 12 seconds. When Garofano dispel weak spot with this, he gains 14 energy. Heart lemon can only be used twice in each battle. 14 energy, huh? Wait, oh sorry. Uh how much how much energy do I need for for to charge 28? Hmm. So basically if you only have one you can immediately half energy was restored. Right, let's give it a try. What's this? Is it for caster, isn't it? Every wait, how far is Garofano? Okay. All right, I'll stay with you. I think that is for Garofano. I'm pretty sure it's for her. <laughs> Move your rake. Because for energy. Where is she? Uh, you're not gonna you're not even gonna like get Don't close to Luvia man Luvia just gonna kill everybody Don't you dare Oh nice Should I use should I, should I use the uh oh shoot Okay there's there's two I need, I need to do Don't something you dare. I, I probably said the time where I should use the 
ultimate. Oh, the exclusive crown, right? I mean. Oh, 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 Luria, Luria. Okay, I think it's fine. Oh, surprisingly, this time is very easy. Unlike the other two, <laughs> I still remember the. I'm having a hard time on the Phantom of the Miss Adela and, and uh, I think Cabernet. Right, so that's easy, easy busy. I don't think you guys will always also have Done trouble resting? with that. Let's head out then. So what else new? Uh, I think for the interrogation, they only got only have Garofano. We don't have Rahu yet. I'm pretty sure Rahu going to be released on the on the anniversary event if I'm not wrong. And then let's see, let's see. I think we need to check the supply oh. office. Are you here to see me, Chi? Feel free to take the time uh, what to look at the new Special support. Too. Right, so they have like this um, new bundle. I think it's pretty cheap. I think it's oh, if you buy all, I think it's around maybe monthly, monthly pass or something like that. I don't know if it's worth it or not. I'm guessing probably monthly passes more have more value. Combination discount are not available. What do you mean combination? Is there is there like a choice? Or something? No, nothing. Right. So anyway, yeah, so there's that, you can buy it. A tire, oh, forgot about this one. This is actually the one that actually I'm hyped the most. This skin, the comeback of Bozoya. I, I'm definitely gonna get this one. It's, it's cool, three star, and I, I, I gotta be honest, when I first see the uh, trailer, I actually like more hype about this skin more than the new character. It's just it looks amazing. It's, it's a, it, has, it has been it has been a while since the last time we see Zoya, and suddenly she got a new skin out of nowhere. So that's good, and she has like these two dog with her. I don't know. She probably going to name her like Horo and Earl. <laughs> this just looks like Horo and Earl. <laughs> yeah, like this this one here is is Horo because like you know how how this dog just keep looking at Zoya and admire her as a you know role model and this 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 dog is just like they are just to like what the hell my sister doing looking at her <laughs> all the time <laughs> I, I i i bet because 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 the last time i think on Zoya laskin we can see horo and and Earl, so this time they change it to a dog <laughs> how rude and then we have a rerun for Nox skin and Countess Chelsea. I think they're only like okay. So the Nox one is also three star, and Countess Chelsea are only two star. So for all of those that are all these people that are missing this, it's your chance. Oh god, damn it. I just realized that Zoya one is actually more expensive. Why is this more expensive? Why why Nox is also three star? Is it because like oh no, no it's the same the same the same price. I, I got blind for, for, for a second just now. Uh, what else was there for this? I think we have like a cash, not this exactly cash of like a token shop. I think this one, this one is the token shop for the new event. So yeah. Oh, and say also and just an additional. This is not really an update, but from what I heard, this part here, uh, during during uh, anniversary, this part is going to reset, right? So do you notice that? If you buy this for the first time, you're gonna get the double of what you're buying. So if you want to get like the highest value of this this uh, this transaction here, then you make sure that you use that uh, bon uh, you claim that bonus gift because in the anniversary they probably going to. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure someone say on Reddit or any in your social media that's going to they're going to reset it. Chances are maybe they're also going to reset this crime brand. I hope I really hope they, they reset this crime brand pack also. Um and I don't think there's anything else. Maybe this one also they're gonna reset, I don't know. But does anyone actually buying this? <laughs> does anyone actually buying this? Like why? Why though? Right. So I think that is all the update. Mm, other than that, maybe like uh, the new not exactly an update because it's, got, it's going to be re renewed every like two weeks. So this one, make sure you finish this. Plenty of event, uh, plenty of reward for you to claim. If you don't know, if you're struggling, just look at YouTube. There's plenty of guide, and that's it. Uh, so let's close this session with 
the RS. <sighs> I'm so ready for the anniversary. Can you see the hypercube here? I just hope I don't need to spend much in here. Wait, we got Garfano for free, right? Hopefully, yeah. All right, let's do this. I hope it's the first try. Uh, unfortunately, not. Uh, I wish that we got the Garf on the first time or not. Unfortunately, not. Uh, first ball. Yeah, whatever. Don't remind me. Okay, let's let's do. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. <laughs> Finally found it. It's fine. Just give, just give me Garofano, man. There's still no Garofano. Please don't make me spend too much in this. <laughs> the next one is shallow. No, the next one is shallow. I want to save for shallow. Where's Garofano? I'm not even getting the A rank. Yo, th th this is probably like the most unluckiest poll for for since I don't know. Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Could it be Rahul? Rahul, please come home. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Is that her? Let's go. <laughs> Rahul is home, but I don't have Garofano yet. I just hope, I just hope that a wait. I'm, sheesh, Garofano should be for free, right? Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. I need to take screenshots so I can like put on social media and make people salty. There you go. <laughs> well, yeah. Rahu home. Um, so I'll say say goodbye to Bayi because next time we're gonna see Rahu on the main screen. And maybe chain of song too. Uh, I wish you all luck with for whoever that trying to pull for Rahu. Right? Hopefully you don't pull too much because hey you have to hold you know you have to uh, resist the temptation okay because next time is the limited sinner right so with that um, I'll see you on the next video when we're gonna start playing the event bye bye.